Welcome to Midwest Hunting and Outdoors by Two Dumb Asses. Joel, what are we going to review today? Hey, we have, uh, if you want to see and learn all about the Mahindra E-Max 20, that is what we're going to be reviewing today, Tim. All right, stay, stay with us. Hi, this is Tim and Joel. Welcome to Midwest Hunting and Outdoors by Two Dumb Asses, a podcast about the outdoors, hunting, and being a steward of the land. Thank you for tuning in to our channel. If you like what you see, please hit the like button and consider subscribing. All right, welcome to Midwest Hunting Outdoors. Uh, we're gonna talk about uh, this uh, Mahindra E-Max 20 here. So let's get into the features and functions of it. So uh, it is a small, when I say small, small subcompact tractor category. Um, 20 horses, I think technically, it's 19.4 uh, horses, they rounded up to 20. I believe it's turbocharged. We'll, we will add the uh, stats in the video here, uh, but I believe it's video charged and it's a Yanmar engine. So Tim and I were just talking about uh, before the video here, it's the same engine in my John Deere and we think it's the same, could be the same engine as in his Kubota. So it's a two cylinder Yanmar uh, engine. Four-wheel drive, you've got uh, the ability to take the four-wheel drive in and out with controls, which we'll uh, review here in a little bit. Um, it is uh, electronic uh, PTO. It's got a forward-facing PTO and a re reverse-facing PTO, so you can hook up implements to it. And then the uh, forward-facing PTO is for the a mower deck, it's a drive over mower deck that I've got on it. It's a 50 inch or you can get a 60 inch. And they also make a uh, snow blower for this that uh, the snow blower would run off the forward facing uh, PTO. You can get a cab for it. Obviously this one doesn't have it, um, but that's an option. A lot of, op lot of options uh, for these little tractors. So believe it or not, uh, Mahindra is the number one selling tractor in the United States. Um, this tractor does, like I said, does come with the belly mower and it does have a loader. Again, I don't have the loader on for this video. I'll include a little bit of clip here to, so you can look at what the tractor looks like with the loader. We'll also include a separate video on how to take the loader off and put it on um, and also the mower. So it, it is a, a super nice uh, tractor as far as uh, being able to add and, add and subtract imp implements. Diesel. Like I said, turbocharged uh, 20 horse uh, diesel engine. So Tim, let's get into some of the features and functions. Okay. All right, we talked about the loader, and again, I'll include that video uh, in here, uh, but this is where the, the loader hooks up, sets on these, car, uh, these carriages here, and then your hydraulics uh, fit on here. You've got a joystick control, um, universal joystick control, just like my John Deere or your Kubota. All right, uh, here's just some controls on the right-hand side of the uh, tractor. I think I mentioned this, but uh, electronic PTO. So you just twist this to the right and it'll engage the PTO. And then you just slap it like an emergency e-stop and it'll uh, shut the PTO off. Two, uh, two speed transmission, low and high. Um, I guess technically three, one's a neutral, but low and high. And then you've got uh, your four wheel drive on and off. And then this is your deck to raise your deck up or down. And it also raises your uh, three point hitch in the back. All right, on the left hand side of the cockpit, you got uh, two things. You've got the cigarette lighter that you can uh, hook your cell phone in and charge up. And uh, this controls your PTO. So it allows you just to run the rear PTO, the, the front PTO, or, or both PTO. So this is the PTO setting. On the foot on the left hand side, this is your uh, rear differential lock. So if you're spinning or going up a hill and you want to make sure that uh, one of the wheels doesn't spin out, you just put your heel on that and puts pressure on it. And then uh, your brake, and you've got your brake setting by uh, holding down the brake lever and pushing down this button in the middle, middle of the console here. So you got two other functions within the middle of the uh, cockpit. This is uh, your setting to raise or lower your hydrostatic uh, belly mower. So it limits the height that it'll go down or, or the height that it will go down. 
this will give you some uh, latitude on how fast you uh, want your uh, belly motor to be raised or lowered. So this tractor is in direct competition with Kubota, the BT series. It's either BT series or BX series. So um, just like just like Kubota, um, you've got a hydrostatic transmission where you push forward and uh, it will go. And then to go in reverse, you use your heel um, on, on the reverse pedal here. So this is exactly like the Kubota setup. Instrument panel, you got uh, your key down below on the right hand side and the throttle. Uh, slow is back and fast is forward up. Um, on the dash, you've got um, your fuel gauge and um, there's also some lights that will light up um, when you turn your key on uh, that warms up the engine. And then you got your tack and uh, your speedometer up, up here. You can see I got about 150 hours on this. This is a 2019 um, Mahindra. I bought it brand new. So uh, on the left hand side are all your lights. So you've got your turning signal left, right, and then your front headlights. And then You've also got your flashers. Then you can push the button down here and you got your four-way flashers for uh, being on the road or the highway. So to open up the hood, uh, what, I, what I do like about this is um, very open underneath the hood. So to open up the hood, the latch is easily accessible right behind the steering wheel. You just move it to the left and then, and then just pull up on it. And then you've got your latch here. Uh, it's also got a nice little strap that it won't go too far and uh, go overboard. The unique thing about this tractor is um, the engine is actually setting backwards, where most tractors, the radiator is setting in the front. This is actually uh, the radiator and the fan set facing you in the back. And I was told that um, it's designed that way to keep the dust and, and uh, straw and grass and whatnot going into the radiator and plugging up your uh, cooling system. But uh, really easy to get a hold of, uh, get to everything. I have done all the maintenance on this, so filters in here. You just pop this open and do the filter. Battery is right there underneath the underneath the steering wheel, and um, uh, you know the oil. The oil is super accessible, and uh, the oil filter oil filter is right here. Um, you can cross-reference that at uh, AutoZone or whatever um, for the Mahindra oil filter. And, um, you know, everything's just really accessible right there. really like that about the tractor. Uh, we're in the back of the tractor now, so it does, it does come with a slow-moving sign. No big deal. There used to be a toolbox that was mounted here. Uh, kind of one of the, the cons is uh, if you're going to be doing some work around trees and yard. I mean, I just use this to mow around the yard and I've already taken off the plastic, uh, the plastic toolbox on a tree, um, but uh, you know that happens. But uh, you've got three point hitch and um, it's a 540 PTO on the, on the back, so I think we've talked through that. Um, you know, pretty standard, pretty standard equipment on the back side of this. The other thing I've mentioned, it is a diesel, uh, it is a diesel engine um, and it does not use DEF, it's uh, electronic pollution controlled. So uh, no def is needed for this tractor. In fact, you just uh, put, put the diesel in and it, uh, it will run. And when it needs to burn it off and clean itself off, it, it will go through a cycle and clean it off. All right, in closing, um, you know, pros and cons of the tractor. I, I talked about the toolbox being a con already. Um, other pros and cons, uh, one, I, I really think I got a great price on this. Again, I bought it three years ago um, for roughly 12 $12,000, roughly $12,000. Um, I would encourage you to shop around. I called five, six different Mahindra dealers across the state and uh, I got a range of prices. And uh, I ended up buying this 250 miles away um, in a different state, to be honest with you, and they delivered it for free. And, uh, and it was about 20% less from uh, my closest Mahindra dealer. So. I'm not sure, at least when I bought this, I'm not sure that you could buy the equivalent tractor in anything um, and, and not spend 20 to 30% more. Uh, super usable. Again, it comes with the loader, the mower, um, and, and super friendly um, as far as if you've got an acreage or a farm that you're going to be 
you know, you just want some light work and help uh, carry some things around, I mean, this is a great tractor for that. I've had some issues, especially with the, the mower. Uh, I think there's some design issues with the raising lower mechanism on the belly mower. And um, I've got tree roots and some other things around here. If you own an acreage, you have you do too, rocks, etc. And I've hit a couple of those and um, had some metal brackets break off and had to get them rewelded and whatnot and replaced three or four times. This is just not a one-time occurrence. So ask questions and and uh, read into that because um, if you've got rough terrain, um, you're you're going to have some issues with the belly mower. But um, I would recommend it. Here's what I would tell you. I would uh, recommend looking at this, the Kubota, the John Deere's or whatever. And I think what you're going to find is this is going to be about 20 to 30% less expensive than those brands. And then it's going to come down to, you know, your dealership. How comfortable are you with uh, doing some of the work yourself, et cetera, et cetera. But um, it's been a good tractor for us. Um, we decided to get this style of tractor. Um, instead of a zero turn mower or something like that because we we thought that the mower the loader would help us and we do some more work with it so we really um, it really has has done that so thanks for watching and i uh, hope you find this helpful if you do put some comments in here and we'll see you on the next episode thanks for listening or watching our show we have some exciting topics and guests coming up we ask that you subscribe to our channel on YouTube and follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. We look forward to hearing your suggestions for topics, questions, and comments. This is Two Dumbasses signing off. Until next time, be, be safe, safe, have, have fun, fun, and, and get, get outdoors. outdoors.